Hi everyone, Tamara with Loft to Paint here. Um, I thought I would share an artist's journey. So some of you may have seen a video that I posted yesterday of an acrylic pour trying to do, trying to do, using reds. It turned out pretty good. And today, at about five o'clock, so probably 36 hours later, I went out there to make some space so I could work on something else. And I put the painting in my garage, which is where I put a lot of my paintings to dry. Um, I usually lay them on the floor out of the way because we have three teenagers plus friends and girlfriends that are over all the time. I tried to stick them out of the way. Um, but this time I didn't. It seemed like it was dry. And so I, or you know, mostly I just wanted it to finish drying. So I took it out there and kind of leaned it up against some other paintings and left. Well, a little later, <laughs> I came back in. My painting now looks like this. Isn't it lovely? It's a beauty. So, obviously it was not dry yet, and when I went out there, there was, there was a big glob of paint that had just dripped and migrated and smeared down the whole canvas. So, <laughs> you live and learn. No one can say there's not hundreds and hundreds of artists' trial and error in every behind every artist's story. So um, I screwed up, and you can bet I will never do that again. I checked the edges, and it seemed dry, but the middle was just clearly still pulled up and not dry. So I took it outside in my shop, and I um, took a rag, and I wiped off as much of the paint that I could get off so that it's not super thick because I'll use the gesso and cover it and reuse the canvas. <laughs> but um, yeah, that painting died. It will now be a new painting and it's all good. Anyways, thought I'd share. <laughs> we can all laugh together, yeah? <laughs>